Describe the function of a digital caliper and give an application. The digital caliper is a precision measuring tool that works just like a dial caliper. The main difference is that the measurements are displayed on a digital readout rather than on an analog dial. The digital caliper has two main advantages over the dial caliper. The digital caliper display is faster to read, and measurements can be transmitted to a computer. The digital caliper is an ideal tool for computer collection and analyzing of SPC, or statistical process control data. Describe how to use a digital caliper. Before you make measurements using a digital caliper, you must first become familiar with its components. The major components of the digital caliper are the zero button, the inside jaws, the outside jaws, the display, the locking screw, the carriage, the depth gauge, the thumb rest, the on-off button, the hold button, the inch millimeter button, and the computer port. The zero button is used to calibrate the digital indicator. When the jaws are fully closed, press the zero button and the digital display will be set to zero. The inside jaws can be positioned to measure the inside dimension of a workpiece. One jaw is fixed while the other is movable. The outside jaws are used to measure the outside dimension of a workpiece. One jaw is fixed while the other is movable. The display is a digital device that shows the reading of the digital caliper. The locking screw holds the jaws of a digital caliper in a fixed position. This feature is often used in repetitive measuring. The carriage is the part of the digital caliper that slides along the rule. It is attached to the movable jaw and houses the digital display. The depth gauge is used to measure the depths of various features of a workpiece. Place your thumb on the thumb rest to push the carriage in and out along the rule. The on-off button is used to turn the digital caliper on and off. The hold button is used to freeze the display of the digital caliper to its current reading. No matter how much the position of the jaws is changed, the digital display will remain the same. The inch millimeter button is used to toggle between SI metric and US customary units. This button is recessed to prevent the accidental changing of units. The computer port allows the digital caliper to be connected to a computer. This feature allows many measurements to be quickly downloaded into a computer for analysis. Making measurements with a digital caliper is very similar to making them with a dial caliper. First, completely close the jaws, turn on the digital display, and calibrate it to zero. Then, move the jaws into position so that each jaw contacts one side of the object being measured. Once the jaws are in position, the measurement can be read directly from the digital display. This direct reading makes the digital caliper easier to use than the dial caliper. All of the adjustments and measuring techniques you learned with the dial caliper also apply to the digital caliper. State the typical accuracy of a digital caliper and explain what affects it. The digital caliper display shows four places to the right of the decimal point in inches. This might lead you to think that the digital caliper is accurate to within one ten thousandth inch, which is ten times finer than the dial caliper. This is not true. The digital caliper is still subject to Abbey's Law and operator error. Therefore, the accuracy of a digital caliper reading is still about one thousandth inch. For this reason, you should round off your reading to the nearest thousandth of an inch. For example, round three and fourteen ten thousandths to three and one thousandth, and round three and fifteen ten thousandths to three and two thousandths.